So in Gravity, we have built on the market-leading API and event gateway and evolved it into an agent gateway. Now, an agent gateway does very similar things as a traditional API or event gateway, but it adds a few very important capabilities for your agent infrastructure. You can go and pick any agent in your catalog and basically make a proxy over the pl platforms and frameworks to ensure that you can control how that agent is being invoked. So let's imagine that you have a client that wants to invoke a, an agent of some sort. What it does is it invokes the agent gateway and the agent gateway itself then invokes one of the agents um, available in one of the platforms and frameworks that you might be using. So, for example, it might be invoking an Amazon Bedrock agent or it might be invoking a Langchain agent. Now, what Gravity has built is effectively an SDK, an agent mesh SDK that is Im embedded into all of the different agent frameworks um, and allows Gravity to invoke any agent running in your agent frameworks. So why would you want this agent gateway to sit between whoever in is invoking your agent and the agent itself? Well, first of all, You'll have the ability in Gravity to effectively have uh, any sort of policy that you might be familiar with with Gravity, like rate limiting or IP filtering, for example, to control how your agents are actually being invoked. But maybe even more interestingly, thanks to the native capability in the agent gateway that communicates with those different platforms and frameworks agents, you actually have the ability to enforce various things. So you can control, for example, which tools or which LLMs or what prompt you're supposed to be sending to the underlying agent system. Or you can actually add context such as the claims or other information that exists in a JWT token that allows the agent to have more context of how it's operating. Now, regardless of how Gravity is invoking your agent and what sort of control you're adding to the invocation of those agents, you will get back through the, the gateway information about that agent invocation. So you'll have access to things like the chain of fault. So chain of fault is effectively a way to get an insight into how the agent actually operated. So it might be that, oh, first I talked to the LLM, then I took an action, then I did this. All that performance data, all that reasoning is available in the agent control plane in Gravity thanks to the agent gateway invoking that agent. So you'll be able to understand the performance of your agent. You're going to be able to understand what sort of cost the agent was um, impl implying on your enterprise. And you'll be able to understand what tools, what LMs it used after that agent had been invoked. Mm -hmm.